Greetings everybody, it's Griffin. How you guys doing now? Welcome back to the Good Great Griffin Gaming Channel, folks. I'm saving lives through gaming. Now, welcome to another video on the channel. So, I'm going to deviate from my normal stuff here on the channel, which is gaming, because I want to show you guys something. So, as of yesterday of this video, I actually purchased a Go XLR Mini, and that's currently what I have right here. Now, I know it's mainly used as a streaming product, but I know there are some people, including myself, that not only does streaming, but also gaming as well. So, I want to show you guys how you can actually separate your audio tracks from the gaming and the video game itself so when you put in your editing software whether you use Premiere Pro or any other software like that you can easily manipulate the two I want to give you guys a heads up I'm not very eloquent speaker so I hope this tutorial is actually very easy to follow so the first thing you want to do is open up the go XLR app right now I have two profiles settings here now this is where profiles that you have set up here to whatever you're doing and you can actually change the mic uh, situations the routing all that stuff like that and different in these profiles so I have two that are different I have live stream and recording and the reason why I have two of them is because you the routing system is going to be different for each depending on what you're doing so for recording we're going to be focusing on that because this is going to be focusing on recording so it depends on what you have as the routing so for me i have for the mic i have broadcast stream mix and i have chat mic i'm going to always leave that chat mic on for broadcast stream mix we're going to have that on because when i'm talking that's how you guys can hear my voice right now because it's being sent to OBS, right? And this, of course, if I have Discord or anything like that. Now, the only thing I have set is system on my headphones. So this is where the game audio is gonna come out of because I want the game to come out in my headset, which is connected here in the Go XLR. This is where this cord is right here. That's all you need to do. Now, the next thing you gotta do is go into the OBS. So right here, we're in the OBS software, okay? Now, it may look odd, right? Because the way I do my recordings here is kind of different. If you guys want a tutorial on that, I actually made a video on that. So I have this right here. So I have this recording my camera, and I have this recording the actual gameplay footage and everything else okay so like I said it may look weird on right now but I have a separate video on how I did that if you guys want to know I can I'll leave a link this is how I did it okay so as you guys can see right here go XLR this is picking up my mic audio only my mic okay because we're in the recording profile in the go XLR app so it's only picking up my microphone and then that's it well it'll only pick up my mic and it'll also pick up my discord chat if I'm playing with the homies and stuff now the second part here game audio okay so the game audio want to go ahead and go to properties and you want to make sure this is selected system TC Helicon, you have all these different ones. You wanna make sure system is on, well, is system is the one that's set because on the profile here, we have system here coming out of the headset. So that means it's gonna pick up audio that's coming out of the system. So to make sure you have everything set, you wanna go ahead and go to sound settings and go into volume mixer, right? And then go here into volume mixer. Now, depending on where you're playing your game, if you're playing on Steam like I do or Epic Game Store or anything like that, you go to Steam, you go here, and you wanna make sure the output device is system. So the game audio or whatever audio is coming from Steam is gonna come out of your headset, which will in turn record that game audio. And that's basically almost it almost so right now this is picking up my mic we're good on that all right guys post production here my sincerest apologies but i forgot one thing to show you guys so before we do what i'm about to show you you want to make sure you go to settings go to output and then you want to hit on recording because we're focusing on recording and you want to be right here where it says audio track you want to make sure audio tracks two and three are checkmarked only those two and that's only if you're focusing on the game audio and the mic audio Okay, you wanna make sure two and three are check marked. And I'm about to show you why right now. You're gonna go ahead and go to advanced audio properties. And this is where the magic happens for the audio tracks. For the game audio and Go XLR, because it's picking up my mic and then this is picking up my game audio. You wanna make sure the first one here, these are two, these two are checked because these two are checked is gonna show that you want OBS to have these set as audio tracks. Now to separate them, you wanna have number two checked as mic or game audio, either or and go to the next number for three and have it set to the different one. So you have two as my mic and then you have three as my game audio. And of course, if you have more audio tracks or anything that you wanna record, then you'll just set them up as different tracks as you go along. Of course, OBS only has six and hopefully if you're just recording, I don't think you'll need that many, but do what you do, I don't know what you guys do. So now here we are in Premiere Pro and this is my video editing software right here. So I'm gonna already have something set up here, Go XLR test. Now, like I said, guys, I literally taught myself this last night to make sure everything is all good and dandy. So I already did a test recording for you guys already. So this right here, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up here. Now this is what's gonna happen. Once I drag and drop this, what's gonna happen is you're gonna see the video and then you're going to see the game audio and then the mic audio in the same, as like, uh, on different tracks. Now this is how I do it. Drag and drop, there you go. So here's what this is gonna sound like. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my headphones so I can hear it as well. Okay, so how I should have it, 
This right here should be my mic audio and this right here should be the game audio. And the best way to find that out, I'm going to mute this right here and you should only hear my voice. All right, everybody, this is the actual test for the separating the audio tracks from a video game to your mic here using the Go XLR Mini. Hopefully this helps you guys out a bit. All right. Okay, perfect. So now we have that. Now we're gonna unmute this and then mute this and now we should only hear just the game audio. Now if I do undo both, the audio tracks from the video game to your mic here using the Go XLR Mini. Hopefully this helps you guys out a bit. Just like that. That's all you guys really have to do. It's not uh, it's not difficult. Um, I don't know if anyone did a video on this because uh, it's very, I would say it's very important. The Go XLR is a streaming device. You know, a lot of people use streaming and everything for it, but I also record videos and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys do uh, as well if you guys are checking out this video. But like I said, I'm not a very eloquent speaker, so I hope I did really well for you guys in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope this definitely helped you guys a lot so you guys can separate your tracks. But I just wanted to show you guys how to separate your audio tracks using the Go XLR. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this definitely helped you guys. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, please let me know in the comments. I'm not an expert on the Go XLR or anything like that, so I'll do my best to answer any questions you guys may have. But anyway, you guys have yourself a great day. Okay, take care.